Welcome to another crazy ride and in this video we're taking you on ride one of our Black Forest Tour. Measuring 160 kilometers, 100 miles from top to bottom. The Black Forest is a lovely expanse of hills, lakes and forests. Topping at the Veldberg at 1493 meters, 4898 feet. And the area expands from uh, the Spa town Baden-Baden to the Swiss border and from the Rhine almost to the Lake Constance. And I've read somewhere that this area is perfect for slow touring on one of the many twisty roads with beautiful views. Well, and I don't know if this counts for slow touring, but this ride is 210 kilometers, around 130 miles, and we will be exploring the northern part of the Black Forest. And if you want to go do this ride for yourself, you can because with Crazy Rides, we are setting up the online travel guide for bikers. So you can download the GPX file and an ebook with all the information on this ride on our website. That all being said, let's go crazy! We have our first stop uh, coming up here in Schiltach, as we think it is definitely time for coffee. And Schiltach is supposed to be a charming town with the uh, half painted houses, and even called a gem at the top of the Kinzig Valley, I think it's called, uh, which we are entering now. You'll find a few parkings but it is easiest to just park along the river and if you want have a coffee in town.
Schengenbach is described as a fairy tale village in the Black Forest that you should definitely visit, so we added it as our lunch stop. It is surrounded by forests and vineyards, and despite being greatly destroyed during the war with France, the old centre is still very well preserved, and you can see town gates, towers, and of course the traditional half timbered houses. So, definitely good to stretch your legs and search for a good place to have lunch. area for a nice motorcycle ride. The Black Forest also is birthplace of the Cuckoo's Club in 1730. And that's, as you probably know, a pendulum clock that marks the hour with the sound of the cuckoo. And it was intended first as an alarm, but it was too difficult to make the sound of a rooster mechanically. So they chose cuckoo. And the sound is made by two organ pipes that are activated by like a rod system. And um, instead of like a gong or a beat or a bell, what have you in other clocks. And I think that the stop that we are going to now, I think it was during one of our first road trips that we stopped here. And um, well, we nearly peed our pants laughing that hard, so we just had to bring you there. The Elbe Urba. Because this is the world's largest cuckoo's clock, magnified 60 times. And more clocks claim to be the largest, but this one is recognized by the Guinness Book of Records. And of course you have to wait to the hour or half hour to see it in action, but in the meantime you can visit the Cuckoo's Clock Shop. <laughs> well, we think that was a fun last stop of this ride. But of course, you can decide to skip the Cuckoo's Clock and just go to Triberg for a drink or so. We will be going into Triberg in ride two of this Black Forest tour. So we are just gonna go on with the ride.
pretty sure that I wanted to say here that we really had fun with this Ride 1, exploring the northern part of the Black Forest. And that in Ride 2, we are exploring the southern part of the Black Forest. And that the video of that ride is in the middle of your screen now. We still hope that you liked this video and if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe and hit that bell as well. So we will see you on our next crazy ride.